In this video, we will discuss the equations of parallel and perpendicular lines and determining the relationship between different equations. First, let's review the relationships with parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have slopes that are equal. So looking at this example, these two lines are parallel because their slopes are identical. So for example, y equals 2x plus 5 and y equals 2x minus 1 are parallel lines because the slopes are equal. However, perpendicular lines have slopes that are the negative or opposite reciprocal of one another. So for example, we would take the number and flip it and change the sign. So y equals 2x plus 5 and y equals negative 1 half x minus 1 are perpendicular lines because their slopes are opposite reciprocals. So in summary, you can determine that two lines are parallel because they have the same slope. So for example, if you have y equals 2 thirds x plus 1 and y equals 2 thirds x minus 5, these two lines would be parallel because their slopes of 2 thirds are the exact same. However, perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes, which, which essentially mean you flip it, flip the fraction, and change the sign. So for example, if I have y equals 3 fourths x minus 2, and I have y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 1, this would be an example of perpendicular slopes because the negative 3 over 4 flips and changes signs to become negative 4 over 3. So our first question says, are the lines parallel? In order to, to determine if they're parallel, we have to check to see if they have the same slope. So for number one, we have the first equation has a slope of 5 over 3. And the second one has a slope of 5 over 3 as well. So because these have the same slope, you can conclude that they are parallel. For number two, the first equation, I already can identify that the slope is three. So I have a slope equal three. And the second equation, I would have to solve to get y by itself. So I would subtract 3x from both sides. So I have negative 3y equals negative 3x minus 12. And then divide everything by negative 3 to get y totally by itself. So I have y equals x plus 4. Now this means that there's really a 1 in front of the x. So the slope in this equation is 1. So looking at these two, we have a slope of 3 and a slope of 1. And because they're different, these are different slopes. So we can conclude that they're not parallel.
in this example, we are again asked if the lines are parallel. So it's asking us, are the slopes the same? Now again, in order to do this, we have to change these equations into y equals mx plus b form so we can assess what the slope is. So for my first equation of 2x plus 3y equals 3, I first want to solve for y. I'd have to move the 2x over, so it would be minus 2x minus 2x. So I'd have 3y equals negative 2x plus 3. And then to finish getting y by itself, I would divide everything by 3. So you'd have y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1. For the second equation, I have 4x plus 6y equals negative 24. To get y by itself, I would have to subtract 4x from both sides. So I'd have 6y equals negative 4x minus 24, and then divide everything by 6 to get y equals negative 4 over 6 simplifies to negative 2 over 3x minus 4. Now if we compare the slopes, the slope of this equation is negative 2 over 3. And for the other one, our slope is also negative 2 over 3. So in, in conclusion, because these two lines have the same slope, you could say they are parallel. And your reason would be that they have the same slope. The next question asks, are the lines perpendicular? Which means we're asking ourselves, are they opposite reciprocal slopes? So if I look at the first equation, I have my slope is equal to negative one half and in my second equation I have the slope is equal to two which we know we can really write as 2 over 1. Now comparing these two numbers, we see that to get from one slope to the other slope, I would have to flip and change the sign. Which means that they are opposite reciprocals. So we could say that they are perpendicular And your reason would be slopes are opposite reciprocals. Now for the second example, in the first equation I have to solve to get y by itself. Because I have 2x plus 3y equals 9. So if I rewrite this to get y by itself, I have to subtract 2x. So I'd have 3y equals negative 2x plus 9. And then I would divide everything by 3 to get y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 3. So my slope of this equation 
would be this negative and then for the other equation I already have y by itself so I know the slope is positive 3 over 2. Now looking at these two in order to get from the 3 halves to the negative 2 thirds I would have to do that same process where I flip and change the sign so you can say that these two are perpendicular and your reason would be slopes are opposite reciprocals. In our last example, again, it's asking if the lines are perpendicular, which means that we really want to know is are the slopes opposite reciprocals. So if I look at the first part, to get y by itself, I would have to subtract x, because again, the goal is to make it that y equals mx plus b form. So I'd have 4y equals negative x plus 16, and then I would divide everything by 4. This becomes y equals, this really has a negative 1, so it's negative 1 over 4, x plus 4. For the other equation, I would have to subtract 4x from both sides. So I would have y equals negative 4x plus 6. So based on this information, I have one equation, or one slope is negative 1 over 4, and the other slope is negative 4 over 1. Now while these, these slopes flip from each other, they are not opposite signs because they both are negative. So these would be not perpendicular. And your reason would be slopes are not opposite signs or opposite reciprocals. In our second to last example, we have to determine whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And again, as a review, parallel lines have the same slope, and perpendicular lines have the opposite reciprocal slope. So if I look at the first set of equations, I have one of these equations has a slope of one half, and the next one has a slope of one half. So based on this information, this being an example of having parallel lines because they have the same slope. So I can say that these lines are parallel, and your reason would be that they have the same slope. If I look at my next example, one of these equations has a slope of negative 7, which we know we can really write as negative 7 over 1, and the other one has a slope of positive 1 over 7. And we know to get from, we can see, in order to get from one slope to the other, this is the opposite reciprocal because I had to flip the fraction and the sign. So I could say that these are perpendicular because the slopes are opposite reciprocals, making it an example of perpendicular lines. In our final example, we again have to determine whether the, the lines are parallel with the same slope, 
perpendicular with opposite reciprocal slopes or neither with no relationship. For the first equation, if I solve for y, I subtract 3x from both sides. So you would have y equals negative 3x plus 4. So your slope is negative 3. Then the other equation, you'd have to add 2x to both sides. You have 6y equals 2x plus 12. And then divide everything by 6. So you'd have y equals 1 third x plus 2, giving you a slope of 1 third. Now comparing these slopes, since one has a slope of negative 3 and the other has a slope of 1 third, because these are opposite reciprocal slopes, they would be perpendicular. So this is an example of perpendicular because you have opposite reciprocal slopes. And if I look at the next equation, I again see a y by itself so I can determine the slope. So I would have to subtract x from both sides. You have negative y equals negative x minus 1, and then divide everything by negative 1. You have y equals x plus 1. And for the other equation, if I solve for y, I'd have to add x to both sides. So you have y equals x plus 7. And looking at those, the slope of the first line is really, this has a 1 in front. So this tells us that the slope equals 1. And we know that for the y equals x plus 7, there's also really 1 here. So the slope is really 1. Now since these are the exact same slope, these would be an example of parallel lines. So we could say that these are parallel because they have the same slope.